Now, in this problem, uh, you're given that there is a rectangular building that is uh, to be built on a lot, lot that measures 30 meters by 40 meters. And we're also told that the width of the lawn, which means the width from the edge of the property to the building, has to be the same on all four sides. And so I'll go to the diagram in just a second and show you what that means. And the local restrictions state that the building cannot occupy any more than 50% of the property. So the area of the building cannot exceed half of the area of the total lot. Um, and it says, what are the dimensions of the building that can be built on the property? So the first thing we're going to do is uh, give a variable for x or assign a variable for x. And we're going to say that let x represent the width of the lot. And so now if we go to the diagram, the length of this side of the property is 40 meters. And we're told that the width of the lawn, in each case here, this is equal to x meters. And remember that the building is centered in on the property. And so that means that over here, the width of this side, this lawn, is going to be equal to x meters as well. So now if we want to know what the length of this building is, then it's going to be the length of the whole property minus the two x's. And so we can write that then as 40 minus 2x, because the length of this side is going to be the 40 meters minus whatever the width of the lawn is doubled, because of this side of the lawn and this side. And so if we take a look at the other side, the width of the property, it's 30 meters along this side, but if we're trying to figure out an expression for the width of the building, remember again, we've got the two widths of the lawn that we've got to consider. And so if the distance from here to here along the property is 30 meters, then the width of the building is going to be the 30 meters minus the two widths of the lawn or the two times the width of the lawn. So this is going to be 30 minus 2x. So our length then is 40 minus 2x and our width is 30 minus 2x. All right, so with our new diagram here, then we're going to assign 40 minus 2x as the length of the building. And remember, that's because the length of the property is 40 meters and we have to subtract off the width of both sides of the lawn. And the width of the building is going to be 30 minus 2x because, again, we have a property that's 30 meters long and we have to subtract off the width of each side of the lawn for the uh, width of the building. So back in the original question, um, we, what we can figure out is the area of the total lot. And the lot is 40 meters by 30 meters, so that means that the total area of the lot is 40 times 30, which is 1,200 square meters. And the maximum area that the building can be is 600 square meters, because remember that the restriction was the building cannot occupy any more than 50% of the property, so the maximum area can be six of the building can be 600 square meters. So that means that if we're going to take a look at the area of the building, remember area is length times width again, then we can write an expression for the area of the building using our algebraic expressions from up here. So we can write the area of the building, the length times width is going to be 40 minus 2x, which is the length of the building, times the width, which is 30 minus 2x. And we know that the maximum area, and we're going to look for the biggest that we can build this building, is going to be 600 square meters. So now what we're going to do is use FOIL and expand. And when we do that, you get and rearrange the equation, you get 4x squared minus 140x plus 1200, subtract 600 from both sides, and this simplifies into a quadratic equation, 4x squared minus 140 plus 600 equals zero. And now what we can do is there's a common factor here, and always look for common factors before you try factoring a trinomial. The common factor here is four. And so if we factor out the four, we get four times x squared minus 35x plus 150, equals zero. And now we're looking for two numbers that multiply to be, have a product of 150 and have a sum of negative 35. And obviously we're talking about two negative numbers here. And 
if you go through by process of elimination, uh, 5 times 30 is 150, so negative 5 times negative 30 is also 150, and negative 5 plus negative uh, negative 5 plus negative 30 is negative 35, so our two numbers are negative 5 and negative 30. So when we factor this, we end up with uh, this equation, and so now we can figure out what the um, values of x that will make this equation true. So first off, if x minus 5 is equal to 0, then our equation is true, and in this case, x would e equal 5. And if x equals 5, the length of the building, which is, remember, 40 minus 2x, if we sub in for x equals 5, we get 40 minus 2 times 5, which works out to be 30. And the width of the building is 30 minus 2x, and if we sub in for x equals 5, we get the width is 20 meters. And the other possibility here, we're going to just consider for a second, if x minus 30 is equal to 0, then the equation is true. Be, but the problem here is, um, sorry, sorry, if x minus 30 equals 0, then x equals 30. But the problem is, if we sub in 30 for x, 30 minus 2 times 30 is negative 30. And so we can't have a negative width. So what we have to throw out this answer because it's not possible in this practical question. So that means that the area of the building is going to be 30 times 20, which is 600 meters squared. And that's what we um, said was the maximum area that the building could be. So therefore, the length of the building is 30 meters and the width is 20 meters.